All right, so a few days ago, we were talking about uh, wallpapers and how you can download it automatically. Well, one of my viewers, what's his name? Mac Earl uh, sent me his script. I think he's a uh, contributor to the script. But um, what the script does is it uses this website, wallbase.cc. And you can see that there's, you know, pretty cool wallpapers in here, like high res one too, uh, from different categories like anime, some cars, some hot chicks, and some nature crap and all that. Um, you can actually sign up for an account too. Do you need an account? No. The account is for, I think, like uh, porn images or something like that. I don't really have an account to confirm that, but uh, you could do that too if you have an account, right? Uh, so let's go back to the script here. So it's called wall base. And you're going to have to configure it. It's not that hard. You have to read these sections up here. So you start from like, um, you know, like, uh, what is it here? Section one, your resolution that you want. So depending on your, your, your size that you want for your monitor and aspect ratio and so on and so forth. But where you would want to do all that is here. Okay, your configuration options. Again, if you have a uh, password or whatever, or username and password for the site, and it'll download like, um, yeah, not suitable for work images. So, do that. The two options in here that I didn't really understand, or I guess it doesn't really work, um, uh, you know, to what I thought it would do, is this part. It says max range here. I was assuming that this one would download. If I put like five, it'll download five wallpapers. It doesn't really do that. Okay. So I was like, okay, maybe that's not the one. I'll uh, go down here. It says thumbnails. Not sure why they call it thumbnails since we're down wallpapers. We don't want to know thumbnails, all right? But um, you know, I put 20. Does it download 20? Not really. Always. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. So it's not very accurate. Uh, the numbers I was putting in there. So it's kind of weird. Uh, but play around with these two numbers to get to the range that you want. I was assuming that this one is the minimum range and this one is the maximum range. Uh, even that sometimes doesn't come out right either. But, uh, hit or miss or not, you know, um, it still works. So, the other stuff you might want to do is the location. Um, let's say, for example, we give it a new folder. Put it anywhere you want. Usually it's in your picture folder, but I'll put it in my temp folder for now. And let's give it a new um, name or something. We'll call it just CCC, C, whatever. Right? And down here is, uh, let's say you want like an uh, exact. Uh, or like close to you know the type of wallpapers you want, you can put it like here in the string. Like let's say I want cars or whatever. Okay, then you can put that in there. Um, so read up on the sections and configure it. But afterwards, all you gotta do is save it, save it, and make sure you uh, allow executable permissions. You know chmod, right? And after that, um, let's run this sucker here. Uh, we just do dot slash wall base down here dot sh and you run the sucker and basically you'll just download it uh, I think using wget here and if I go into my temp folder and cd into the folder we made cccc list it out some files and basically you'll, you know you list out all your wallpapers you're downloading uh, let's open one of them xdg dash open wallpapers Right, and they have some wallpapers. What the hell is this? I don't know. Some animal, some anime, some girl, some weird shit, some monster shit. And as more wallpapers comes in, it'll just, you know, list it out more here. Anyways, that's the script. You probably want to run it maybe once a day or once a week, depending how your settings are at, uh, using your cron tab. And you have automatic high res wallpapers okay uh, that'll be it for the script uh, thanks and I'll post you the links to their website I think they have their, a, a github website alright um, that's all for this one